Hi, welcome to the how-to video series of Project Track for Jira. In this video, we will show you what's possible to achieve with Project Track Script Fields Advanced Function, which will help to execute more precise calculations about your projects. To show you how it works, let's click over the Project Track's drop-down menu, located at the main menu of Jira. Then select the option Fields. Once there, we will see a complete list with all of the project fields we have created and customized historically with Project Track. The next step will be to hit the Create Field button located at the right top corner of the window. Then let's select the option Script. Right after, a pop-up window will appear. There, we will name it and describe which information provides the script field. Be sure to be descriptive. The following step will be to insert the Groovy script. In this case, we will show you how to get the total of all those issue story types that haven't been resolved by using a script that is available from the Project Track Data Center documentation. We copied it, pasted it, and then let's create it. To see the results of our creation, let's access a project of our interest which will be available from the main menu of JIRA in the drop-down menu of Projects. There, we can select any project. We are choosing a recent project we have been working on. After clicking, we will see the layout associated with the project we have selected and all of its information displayed and organized within. Let's click over the Edit Layout option and then we are going to choose which container of the layout we want to place the script field we have just created. For this example, let's pick the Involved container to insert the field. Select Add Field. Then search for the field, matching the name we previously gave to it. Once found and selected, let's save the layout. And that's it! Now we get to visualize the result. The total of issue story types unresolved, which is 1. To check if this information is accurate, and the script is running how it's supposed to. Let's click to check over the Issues option of this project. It's available from the left menu. Once there, indeed, we can check there's one issue story type still to be resolved. To double check if the script is running right, let's create another issue story type right from this project. We click over the Create button available from the main menu of JIRA making sure this issue actually belongs to the project we have created script project field and it is actually an issue story type. Let's name it Story2. Now we create it. Let's go back to the Project Data option available in the left menu to check if the information in the layout from the script field has changed. And indeed, it now shows we have two issue story types to be resolved. You can visualize this project field information from different options available within Project Track. It can be from the Project Navigator's list view, from a gadget in your JIRA dashboard, from a layout, as we just saw, or whenever you think it is more suitable for you and your team for the sake of effectively tracking your project information in JIRA. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button and follow us on our social media channels.